Indigenous peoples and local communities are at the forefront of governance for conservation because they develop their governance institutions through centuries of direct dependence on nature for their very survival. Many of the experts proclaimed that in Africa, which is so well known for its biological diversity, actually more than 90% of the biological diversity of plants and animals occur, are found outside of the officially protected areas. So where are they found? Who is protecting them? Communities, indigenous peoples, nomads, farmers, and the like. Most of the biological diversity of the world is conserved by communities and indigenous peoples. And we know, friends, that communities are not just individuals. There's much more than individuals. They have history, culture, a special relationship with the environment, with resources, collective systems of decision making. And associations, in my view, are very inappropriate animals, governance animals, to impose on indigenous peoples and on, on uh, local communities. Cooperatives are exactly the same principles. Nomads, they conserve because they migrate seasonally. If they stay in the same place, they'll destroy nature. They, cons they move in order to conserve. Exclusion is another very strong, one of the strongest means of conservation, but with systems that are ages old and everybody respects them. Governance is all it's about. I think the 21st century is a story of governance.